Hello everyone and welcome to 6th episode of Filty Live bring you more productivity and safety on construction job site I am Akash your digital account manager connecting with you all live via Facebook In today's episode we will discuss how you can break concrete faster and with less effort and to present that today with us is product manager of heavy duty tools Jeffrey so hi Jeffrey how are you and thanks for being with us in today's episode Hi Akash I'm doing good and uh, I hope all of you are keeping well as well and thank you for joining us today um i have to mention akash over the last few weeks and months i have been observing the hilti live episodes and i have to uh, comment that you know the kind of insights you have been giving to the industry has been really good and uh, you know this really gives tips and tricks for the industry personnel to uh, how to save cost as well as time so well done there thank jeffrey and yes we are getting lot of positive responses and credit goes to all those who are watching us regularly and liking our episode so thank you all and like guys like always please keep posting your questions and suggestion in the comment section below because we will love to hear from you all and will make sure to answer each one of you at the end of the episode and now let's start with the today's topic so jeffy would you like our viewers to introduce to hilti world of breakers and tell us what you will be doing in today's episode absolutely so let me introduce you to the world of hilti breakers So what we have here is a phenomenal range of tools for every breaking application of yours. Over the past several years we have been working closely with our customers day in and day out and we have understood what pain points really matter to you and we have tried to address each of those pain points through some very good innovations in our tools that will ensure better breaking as well as longer life of the tools. So in today's episode we will be focusing on three major things. One how important it is to select the right breaker for the right application and the second point would be how import, you know how you can break concrete faster while uh, putting the least effort and the last point would be how service is important to ensure you have the best ownership experience and guys now without wasting much time let's start of all first with what are some applications of breaking on construction job site and how do you select which breaker to use for which application talking about the applications i am sure you all would be doing lot of application of breaking on construction job site using our hilti breakers so why don't you let us know in the comment section below that for what all applications you are using your hilti breakers and maybe what you can do is you can post your pictures photographs along with the breakers you can show your application and we will love to show the show we will love to see them and now talking about the application we can simply classify breaking applications into two parts which is light breaking and heavy breaking when i talk about light breaking these are generally the applications that you are doing on the ceiling on the walls for example for a electrical contractor it might be a channeling application in which he has to fix conduit inside the wall for a civil contractor it will be more of surface correction surface smoothing or making cutouts for large openings to pass pipes or ducts when it comes to large uh, heavy breaking then it's mostly in the downward direction and the application might range from pile breaking floor breaking or maybe the beam breaking for a civil contractor for a infra contractor it can be road breaking where the grade of concrete is very high and now let's understand from jeffrey that what all breaker we should use for which application sure so as akash mentioned there are two types of application uh, which is one is light another is heavy so what you see here is a set of our tools which is primarily designed for light breaking one of the important things which you need to note for light breaking is the handle so if you see here we have a d handle system so the advantage of a d handle system is uh, the tool itself you will have to hold much closer to your body which results in better control specifically for applications which are on the wall or on the ceiling the control will be much better with a d handle tool so first tip ensure you always choose uh, a d handle tool when it comes to light breaking so if we look at the portfolio here we have three different tools so the first is t500x which comes with a hex 17 connection end and the second tool which we have is the t500 again a 5 kilo uh, breaker this will uh, have the sds max connection end and for heavier wall breaking applications you also have the option of going with t700 
which is a 7 kilo breaker. So this is with respect to light braking. Now let's move on to heavy braking. So when it comes to heavy braking, we have a couple of big boys here, right? Uh, we have the T2000, which is a 15 kilo breaker, and we have the T3000, which is a 30 kilo breaker. So 2000, you can go uh, with it when you have a base material thickness of up to 200 mm and 3000 up to 300 mm. So all the infra contractors watching this, uh, you should keep an eye on these tools. And now comes the versatile tools, which can be used for both light braking as well as for heavy braking. So we have three tools here. One is the T800, uh, another 800 standard, and we have the T800 AVR. So two tools here, both are 10 kilos. The second, uh, I mean, the third breaker in the versatile uh, category would be the T1000, which is a 12 kilo breaker. But uh, overall, the portfolio is so complete that for ev each and every braking requirement of, our, of yours, we have a solution for it. And guys, now I'm sure those who are watching us would be wondering about the performance of these breaker. When it comes to performance, you, once you use our breaker, you would not like to use anything else. With impressive hammering power and exceptionally low vibration, you can use these breaker for any kind of demolition work with ease. Add a cell sharpening polygon chisel and you will clearly experience a boost in productivity and performance. Bottom line, if your operator is less fatigued, he will be able to work more and he will be able to break more concrete within less time. And now we have done a lot of talking. It's time for action. So let us show you how these tool works and the performance of the breaker. Sure. So as part of today's demonstration, we will be putting the T2000, uh, uh, the 15 kilo breaker against the T1000 uh, 12 kilo breaker. So another feature which is part of our tools is the removable cord which we have. So the advantages of having a removable cord is, first of all, convenience. You can use the same cord across different breakers. That's one advantage. Second point is with respect, respect to safety, right? So the uh, trouble of tripping over is always reduced with uh, the removable cord. It's as simple as that. Just plug it in, and you're good to go. So why don't we start the demo, Akash? Sure, Jeffrey. And guys, what we can do is that you can write down in the comment section below that who will be breaking more concrete when Jeffrey and me will be doing the demo. I am using Hilti, two, Hilti 1000, whereas Jeffrey will be breaking with Hilti 2000. So let us know in the comment section below that who will be doing more breaking in the given time. So let's start. Sure. One, two, three, go. Fantastic. So, as we saw in the demo, right, we had the T2000 against the T1000. T2000 is a 15 kilo breaker and this is a 12 kilo breaker. As you can see, the amount of concrete broken by the 15 kilo is higher than what a thousand was able to break. But the most important thing to note here is uh, when it comes to Hilti breakers, the performance of our breaker will be twice than that of the options available in the market. Let me give you an example. With our T2000, you can break up to 2.4 tons of concrete in one hour, as compared to a maximum of 1 to 1.1 ton of concrete with most of the competition tools which is available. So think of it this way. What is the benefit to you? Whenever uh, you have a job to complete, let's assume a breaking job, typically with a regular breaker, you are able to finish it in 10 days. But when you do select our set of breakers, any weight class which you choose, you can finish the same job in five days. And think of the benefit which eventually uh, you know, gets passed on to you. You can save significantly on cost as well as on time. So whenever you guys are in the market uh, to purchase a breaker, always keep three aspects in your mind. The first is with respect to the performance of the tool. The second with respect to the lifetime, and the third is the services that you get as part of the tool. 
So let's get into each of these aspects in detail. First is the performance part. We have seen with respect to the breakers how much concrete they can uh, break, that's all great. But how are we able to deliver this? The first and most important feature of our tool uh, with respect to breaking, with respect to the performance side of things is the impact energy as well as the blows per minute. Impact is the energy which is transferred to the base material through our chisel and blows per minute is the number of times the chisel hits the concrete. Both of these, for every comparable weight class, our tools is significantly better than what is available in the market as an option. So that's the major uh, differentiation which we have. The second point is something, uh, is a new uh, feature which we have on our tools called as the active vibration reduction. Whenever the concrete is being broken, there is a lot of vibration which is getting transferred to the tool. And if the tool does not properly absorb it, the entire set of vibration goes on to your operator. And imagine an operator running a breaker for the entire eight hour duration, he will not be able to do it. After a few hours, he will be tired and his output will be significantly lower. With the help of this AVR functionality, what this effectively does is, as you can see, as I am moving this tool, the housing as well as the moving components are isolated. So the advantage of this is most of the vibration which is generated here will not be transferred to the operator. So bottom line, if your operator is less tired, he can break more and uh, the output which you get from him will be much better. So what we have seen is the performance on our tools. Akash, can you tell our viewers how our chisels improve the performance of our system? Sure, Jeffrey. And guys, the chisel that we are using today is cell sharpening polygon chisel with S connection end. This is not SDS plus, this is not SDS max, and it's a unique chisel with a dia of 22 mm at the connection end, which is four mm higher than SDS max. And the benefit is it helps you transfer the impact energy more, thus giving you more productivity. Then secondly, you can see guys, it's, it has a wavy pattern, which helps you develop more cracks, which means you you break more concrete within less time. And let me show you a scratch test. Come along with me. So guys, you can see right now, when I rub this chisel against the concrete, there were six touch points. One, two, three, four, five, six. What it means is having less touch points give you a benefit that your chisel does not get stuck inside the concrete. And finally, guys, as the name says, it's a cell sharpening polygon chisel. It automatically keeps on sharpening itself because of its unique geometry. And because of that, over the usage of the tool, you do not need to sharpen it again. Isn't it interesting? And guys, now we have already seen the performance of our breaker. Let's move to the second aspect, which is the lifetime. So Jeffrey, would you like to tell our sure. viewers about the life of these breakers? Sure. Uh None of us would like to have a tool which breakdowns frequently and eventually the tool availability in your job site is lessened. For that, we completely understand this pain point and we have incorporated certain features on our tools which will ensure the life of the tool is significantly higher and the tool doesn't break down easily. The first feature which I'm going to talk about is with respect to the intelligent airflow design which we have on our tools. So what happens in a, in a typical Hilti breaker is the air enters from the top portion and it gets ejected from the bottom portion. So as you know, this is where the breaking happens and all the dust is getting generated. Since the uh, air is passed from this part, the possibility of dust entering through um, you know, the front part is reduced significantly. So lesser dust within the entire system means lesser breakdowns and as a result, uh, the uh, lifetime of the tool is improved. The second feature which I want to talk about is our lubrication system. There are three lubrication systems in our tool. The first is at the chuck area, second is at the hammering, and the third is at the gearing area. So why is it important? Every other tool in the market comes with a single chamber lubrication. What that means is whenever you break, the dust enters, and the dust is free to roam around within the entire tool without any hindrance. What happens, the dust might enter into your gears and as a result, there could be gear failure, your rotor failure, or anything of that sort. Any moving part, it, dust is a detriment to it. So what we do with the three chamber system is we isolate the front part. So dust, even though uh, whatever uh, small dust enters, we try uh, 
to stop it from entering the moving chambers. As a result, the uh, working parts are kept in pristine condition, the tool's life is longer, and your output is much better in the job site. Another important point uh, with our tools when it comes to the outlast part is uh, with respect to the motor itself. On certain models of ours, we have the uh, SR brushless motor. How is it different? As I mentioned, since it's brushless, you don't have to replace the carbon brushes. The benefit, of course, is fewer breakdowns. And inherently, the SR motor has a much, much longer life as compared to the uh, conventional uh, brush motors. So what we have seen is some of the features on our tools which la ensures the tool lasts longer. But another important aspect which we need to discuss on is the safety feature. So um, Akash, can you throw some light as to what are the different safety features are there on our tools to our viewers? Sure, Jeffrey. And guys, safety is one of the biggest priority of Hilti. And let me show you some of the features of Hilti 1000 that how it is very safe to use. So the first feature that I will be talking about today is restart safety, which is when you switch on the tool and what if power goes off. So let's do it. And you see right now, I was using the tool, but we have taken out the plug and now there is no power. What if power comes back? And now the power is back. But you see, the tool has not started. Unless until you switch it off again and you switch it on. And this is what is restart safety is all about. It prevents accidents. The second feature that I will be talking about is double insulation on our breaker, which is if there's a voltage fluctuation, there will be never a chance of electricity passing on to operator. So there will never a shock. And the third feature that I will be talking about of safety is that we have already discussed in our few previous episode the importance of controlling dust on a job site. Especially when you are working in confined spaces or operational buildings like hospitals or data centers, it is very important to control dust. And with our breaker, what you can do is there's an accessory called as dust removal system, which you can fit over here along with a vacuum cleaner, and all the dust will be sucked inside our vacuum cleaner. And you will get a cleaner and a safer environment. And now, guys, we have discussed about two aspects. One is performance. Second is the lifetime and safety. Let's move to the third aspect, which is services. I have already discussed in our first episode about incredible healthy tool services that we provide. And now, let's hear from Jeffrey that how does it apply to onto our breakers and what's the benefit for our viewers? Sure. The third most important consideration which you need to, need to have when buying a breaker is with respect to the services of it. What we already have as part of our breakers is the most loved and an industry first warranty service, which is the 213 warranty. So it is not just any other warranty which any other company offers. It's not a manufacturer's warranty. It is a comprehensive wear and tear coverage, which includes coverage for the spare parts, which is getting replaced, the labor. So what is in it for you? End of the day, till the uh, end of two years, that is from the date of purchase till the end of two years, your repair invoice will always be zero. Isn't that something which we all want to ensure the OPEX, which, in, which is getting incurred because of it? This is one of the uh, feature which we have. And when it comes to the, um, uh, when it comes to the portfolio, most of the tools are covered under the two-year no-cost, except for the T800, as well, the standard version, as well as the TE3000, which is the 30 kilo breaker. Both of these are covered under one-year no-cost. Rest, all other breakers are covered under two-year no-cost for your, your, for your benefit. So under 213, the second component one refers to the one-month repair warranty. What does that, this mean? So this effectively means that we give you warranty on, the, on every charged repair that we do, and that will ensure complete peace of mind for you. And interesting part is we do not give the uh, you know, warranty only on the parts that were re replaced in the previous repair. We cover all the parts in the tool just to ensure there is complete peace of mind for you even if the tool break, breaks down shortly after repair. The three in the 213 means the three days or free service which we offer. It is again a premium uh, industry first uh, offering which we give to our customers. So effectively all the customers who are in uh, the 10 metro cities across India, you guys can enjoy this feature. Um, uh, the uh, entire service is all about getting the tool back within three days from the date of pickup. So we'll, give the deliver, we'll deliver the tool back to you up and running and uh, the downtime is significantly reduced. 
And for the tier one cities, for nine of those, we are offering a service called as fiber free. And that is again going to benefit you in terms of uh, the entire repair lead times. So with that, over to you, Akash. Yeah. Guys, isn't it incredible that you buy a healthy breaker and you use it rigorously on job site day and night and anything happens in the tool for two years, you do not need to pay anything. Yeah. It will be taken by healthy by free of cost. And now let me quickly summarize what yeah. we have discussed today in the episode. We discuss three main aspects when it comes to buying a breaker, which is performance, second is lifetime, and the third is services. And this is what total cost of ownership is all about. It's not about the initial cost that you bear when you are purchasing the tool. It's about the cost that you bear throughout the life of the tool when you are using the tool. And when it comes to, to total cost of ownership, Hilti provides best value for money over its lifetime. Also guys, what we have done is we have posted a link in the description of the video from where you can download the catalog of all the tools that we have discussed today. So do not forget to click on that. And that's it from our side in today's episode. I hope you enjoyed the live session with my colleague Jeffrey. It was an amazing experience to interact with you all. Next episode, we will be coming up with another Hilti innovation where we'll be talking about Hilti rotating laser, that how you can save concrete while casting slab on construction job site. So stay tuned, stay safe. Till then, take care of yourself and see you all in the next episode. Thank you, everybody.